So, Jay, you mean, how, I guess, how, what are your reactions, your reactions to the I mean, it's, it's borderline embarrassing <laughs> because it's not even that, like, the time or anything really matters because we started so slow. But I just thought, this is great. I'm, I'm positioned perfectly. I was probably most prepared for it to be fast. And then when it was slow, I just didn't feel like I could, like, jump out of that pace. And that, that really surprised me a lot. So, I don't know. It's just a really different event. And I have a lot of respect for putting the work in to be good at other things. That you can't just step on the track and be brilliant at everything. Um, and we did as much work as we could to get to January 26th to see what we could do. Um, I, of course, I'm going to wonder if it had been faster from the gun, if I would have gotten into a diff different rhythm and felt better. Um, but yeah, today, today was a, a real, you know, disappointment and also kind of a, a little bit of humble pie for me. Yeah, I mean, when was the last time that you saw a the front of the race? I know, I know. I mean, letting somebody go like that and seeing them disappear around the bend is unusual for me. And it's not that I didn't have any fight. That's what's kind of like a little bit of a puzzle. So we're going to have to go back and just kind of see see where my training was and what we can do differently to, to be ready for a 15-minute event. You know, I, I have pretty dialed in how to be ready for a four-minute event. And somehow we just really, really did not get it right today. Um, I think it's a concern in the sense that like just psychologically when you think you're ready and you put yourself to the test and you don't deliver that that takes a little bit of like processing um, but as far as what it means for my future in the 15 I don't think a January 26 race even if it was a 1500 meters um, would worry me in August September October yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, anyway, thanks. Uh, Jenny, you've accomplished uh, great things at Consensus Age. You've accomplished great things, uh, in, uh, you know, beyond beyond her. But I mean, obviously, there just there always seems to be that there's going to be that, you know, uh, whether it's a European athlete, yeah, athlete coming up. I mean. I don't know how many times that you've been on the track with her, but I know, but I know it, 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 there's been, a, you know, been a few. So I mean, uh, what, I mean, what do you see? It just, it, it just in her. I mean, you know, like you, great range. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, just in terms of, you know, what she brings, you know, whether it's to a 1500, a three, a 3K, a 5K. Yeah. Cause she, I mean, because it seems like she's, you know, she's with a with a good group. I and, only know about my competitors what other fans of the sport know, and so you know, you look at other competitors, and you know, you you. I don't know anything more because I'm good at this. I just know what other people see on paper and see on the videos and so forth. So um, she's young, she's done a lot. And you know, two years ago, she had a really great season and she's made some changes. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I wish, you know, the best for everybody as far as like figuring out their, their pattern and their way to compete in this really competitive uh, environment. And we'll see. Yeah, thanks. So in years past, I've opened up in Drake, which is early even for an August season. And so that's unlikely that I'll open in April, you know, um, because April to October is just a really different uh, setup. Um, so yeah, I mean, technically, yes, I'm sure my opening will be delayed to some degree, whether it's in like racing or just like the seriousness of the racing. Yeah, thanks.